Hey everyone, it's Omitter, and today I really don't have, like, a finished project to show you guys. I just kind of, um, I was doing some things and cleaning up my mess, and I was thinking I was, I showed my new doohickey dies, the ones that I got in the, um, All I Want for Christmas set, which I know a few of you guys, uh, went and got it. Trust me, it is so worth it. I know these doohickeys are not that cheap, but the fact of how many you got and the fact that some of them you don't even have to use for Christmas, so, and yes... I am going to order the Ooh La La set, the next one, um, because that's basically why I did the D-Stash, um, I just recently did. But like, this um, this little apron thing could be for recipes, it could be for anything, you know, a little snowflake, that could actually be a flower with a basket, super cute, I figured out how to do that. Um, the stocking, the horse for like a baby thing, this can be used, it, the ornament, so anyway, um, the Christmas tree for many, many backgrounds. Uh, so let me show you, actually I did put some of them together, I just wanted to see what they looked like. And here is this one. This one is that one right there. Now this little border, which is, or that little border, it has several of them. Um, it goes here, but I cut it shorter and I put it at the top of the apron. So, and this you can use, like, it doesn't have to be for this. You can use it for just a regular border on a tag or whatever. And that's kind of what we're going to do. Um, today I wanted to experiment and show you how you can make your um, doohickeys uh, stretch a little more. And I'm pretty sure you guys already know because you guys are super talented. But I figured, you know what, I'll show you guys I'll, what I have in my little brain. Um, so, and this is a little silverware dot. And you can see I have all of, see, and this is why I was like, okay, I have to think of different ways of using this. This is the... Um, the silverware set that I use also on my tilde embellishments. Um, I just stuck some in there and, and there you go, just a little embellishment. And this this honestly was just scratch paper. It was all scratch pieces of paper. Um, so uh, here is the stocking. That's this one right here. Super cute, it comes with the different layers. I'm not, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of the little nooks and whatever, because I get what they're going for, but I mean, whatever, it's super cute. Uh, and these, honestly, you can use these, if you cut a bunch of these out, use them to make a flower. So just use a bunch of them, you know, as petals, and how cute would that be? Basically, it's a doily flower, almost like this one. So there's kind of a little, you know, cheap way, a little DIY kind of thing, see, that you can make several petals and just, you know, round them off, whatever. So here is the Santa. The Santa is just super cute. It looks like one of those Man in the Moon um, images, and it's just adorable. And it's basically four pieces. You just have to kind of, like, put the head and... And the little um the hat and everything is just super freaking adorable that's got to go on tags or something this is going to be really cute with tags which you might put one together in a minute so that's that um yeah i haven't used the rocking horse in some of these um hopefully i'll put pull some scratch paper right now and we can do the little rocking horse because i saw a thing where they did they basically cut two rocking horses out glued the top part together opened up the bottom and it's it actually rocks how crazy is that but this i did make where's my little magazine Here's the magazine that it comes with, and I think it's super awesome that they actually sent this, um, that they have this. Um, let me see. So look, here's the apron. I'm sure if hopefully you guys saw that, and, and I do want that. Crazy if you're watching, and if anybody else wants that, I want that. Um, I'm so tender. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I did make, well, my bootleg version of this is gorgeous. Uh, this. I saw this really cute bag. It's a little gift box, and it has this little, like, tearaway thing where you open it, and it has chocolates, I think, inside. Really, really cute with the little window, and that's using the the doohickey window. I actually used the Tim Holtz window. The, see, and there's the, those little things. So, anyway, I used it, and I made this. I kind of just, I didn't read the directions, and I think this is actually a die. I just kind of, you know took an eight and a half by 11 sheet and scored it and if you guys want a tutorial on that let me know it was super easy and I'm pretty sure there's people that have here tutorials on there um and I just scored it and this is just using some Christmas paper from last year put some holes with my um crocodile and that way I can pull some ribbon these things which I found out afterwards these oops sorry these are actually pine cones and they're like I'm not the biggest fan but you can make it work of they look like droopy pine cones because it even has little notches of where the little um, things are, are are at. And these are the snowflakes that's, doo, 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 where's my snowflake? This one, super gorgeous. And you can actually use them as little um, mistletoe leaves. So I mean, hello, that's a twofer. And what I did was I actually cut two and I just layered them and lifted one up. I layered it and then turned it a little bit. Um, so it's not exactly on top of the snowflake. And then I just pulled it up, put some pearls, and there you go. This is the tree. This is boop, 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 boop. 
this tree and I just made several different of them several different ones and I just kind of layered them because I don't like the way the holes are that section the where'd it go the little section right here it's just like a gap but it's to give the other the little leaves um, the branches more shape and this is the trunk and this is the window like I said I just made a little box little bag thingy um, it was pretty quick I just kind of had to divide up dimensions because you want you know obviously it's, eight, it's by 11 so I'm trying to remember what the actual size is where I wrote it down somewhere but um, let me know if you want to see that so yeah so that was my cheap little bootleg version of that and so as you can see there's way too many dies that more than I should probably have um, I haven't even used some of them well a few of them where is it and then this butterfly one is the new one so but the one that we're gonna use right now is this one reason being is when I actually thought of buying this one when I was buying the first set of them that I got I have my big shot over here and some punches and junk um, I actually thought of many different ways that I can use my dies so I just pulled up the page here right now um, so you guys can see they have so many they make several tags and most of them are wonky and you know and just all kinds of you know they're whimsical wonky um, things and that one I showed you guys how to make the full doily on this one because I think that's misleading when they have the full picture uh, let's see here show 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 where is that so um, we're gonna make one of these kind of situations and we're gonna make my bootleg version of that one let me let's just go ahead and add tag to this and yes you guys really nothing's repaired <laughs> I just pulled some stuff up um, put some stuff aside here and to, to kind of you know just get it going to do a little project seriously where is the tag I think it's called something else I don't know, but it's the one. Let's take on. Let's see here. It's oh no, it's it's this one. We're gonna make a uh, my little version of that one, where it's you know you can use you can just cut a piece of paper yourself in a lot in all actuality in a rectangle. Or we have these are some tags that I cut the other day, which actually let me move the iPad, which actually ended up I ended up not using because I totally I miscalculated the size so we're gonna use this okay so here is this one here's my die and I usually take off the little glue dots inside because if not when you take it out the um, the bag actually sticks okay so all you're gonna do is basically just align it here I like to get it um, as close to an actual end of a loop as we can you know and you really don't have to I mean they're all wonky and haphazard anyway um, so and then I just I have uh, my magnetic platform because these things will go all over the place and then you just run it through and I always do it twice especially with intricate dies because you never know okay so in all actuality you're basically there you already and I usually just flick off the little um, the little things in the hole. This is actually the reason why this didn't pop out. Usually, pop out very well. Is this is 110 card pound cardstock. So this is heavy cardstock, and that's probably why it didn't come out. But there you go. So if we look at our little tag, you know, there you go. You're halfway there. Where are my scissors? Then just take any scissors, really, because if we're going along with the uh, the little shape and just make a little curl just go in all of the little you, they don't have to be perfect even if they're you know way off and super wonky I mean that's kind of what you're looking at so okay so this is another thing you see how this is right there that little notch basically you can just cut off right to it so we're almost there let me see where is it okay so you know it has little and they don't have to be exactly like it look there little notches cut out and just kind of move your scissor you know maybe want to I might want to make this one a little smaller and so yeah just kind of you know just snip at it and cut little pieces as you go until you get to the size that you want um, if you want to make it even smaller just keep on going and just cut out these little wonky pieces just you know I usually just 
um, hold my scissors and move the paper when I'm fussy cutting as well. So, but there you go. See, so if you have that die, you can easily use it for that. Um, plain and simple. Also, they have one that's, let's see here. And you guys probably think I'm going to cook over here. Um, they have one that's, that's like several different wonky things. In any case, oh, that one, which has the little, um, line little so you can rip it uh let's grab another little piece of paper here let's see i know i had one here we go we'll grab i'll just i have my cutter right here too we'll do two and a half two and a half by four so yeah it's two and a half by four little piece of paper and i should have just probably looked first um so there we go we will just put it on and by the end of this, you're going to see tons of little scrap pieces of paper all over my desk. Because, yes, that is basically how I craft, where stuff ends up everywhere. So we put it through that. And I'm not sure. I'm sure I've mentioned it in the... See, look, they flick off when you use just a regular piece of paper. Um, oop, I use uh, the Big Shot Express. Is the, the machine that I have. So now we're gonna put it on the other side, facing the opposite way. And let's see. I'm sorry for the noise, you guys. Um, this video is probably gonna be long because I've yet to figure out how to fast forward. I mean, I know I saw, I just haven't done it. See, I usually just do that. I basically abuse my paper. Um, but it flicks right off, you know? And this, usually I leave it in there because I'm lazy. Um, I use I have a little tool, but I just haven't used it, you know, because I'm crazy. Okay, so and here is since we're gonna make it like kind of that wavy, it's that one. So we're gonna give it the um, the curved sides, and this is where this will be able to you'll be able to help um, fix this right here. Is you see that little little notch, and then just boom, it's gone. Same thing here, just and then just you know just move your just move it uh, along with your scissors and there you go and you have that little tag now of course you're thinking what about the little um little notch edge now there's several things you can do at this point you can actually grab a ruler grab the metal side and with a piercing tool go ahead and make the little dots along one eighth of an inch and that way you'll still be able to rip it so you could do that okay so I'm back and I have this is the other thing um this is just one of the smallest little um piercing tools that I, I mean uh, punches that I have and what we're going to do is we're going to take a pencil and I just figured because this is probably a tool that everybody has is um, a little hole punch so we're gonna make a line and try to make it towards the top so you can um, be able to reach it from all sides and then we're just gonna punch a little hole one after the other see it's gonna go halfway and just really close to each other without it, um, without you overlapping them. And the reason why I did do it towards the top is that way you can reach the middle section by actually just going through the top. And there you go. There we have, I should have honestly just actually saved the pictures of um, the tag that I was trying to make before I even did this, but that's what it is. It is what it is, you guys. Um, I just wanted to do something pretty quick. And now we're going to actually do a little version of these tags. So anyhow. So yeah, so there is a little tag. And look, you can rip it. And because I know sometimes they show like little cards. And it shows ripped. There you go. How easy is that? But not only that, also, if you actually have this, we're going to try something else. If you do not have those doohickey dies, no fear. If you don't have those, let me move this. And this is, I'm serious, it's gonna be a, this is what my desk looks like all the time. We're going to go ahead and do, um, with this Martha Stewart punch. And this basically gives you, this gives you a little doily border. And let's see if I can make sure I don't punch this incorrectly. So look, if you do not have the doohickey dies, <laughs> don't fret. Go ahead and just, and you can use this for the other, um, the other tag as well. Hopefully you guys don't think I'm like just a good call um, doing this. So, because you can do that for this tag as well and just punch the bottom and there you go. You have your homemade uh, 
your little easy made um, uh, picket. So once again, you draw the line and of course erase the line when you're done um, with your with your um, making of your tag. In all honesty, you probably can't see it anyway, but and you should just do it lighter. I did it pretty dark that way you guys can see as I am going and see I had to pop over the top so it's very smart to do it towards the top and and if you wanted to make it all you know wonky and you know cut out little notches and stuff and it looks like a bug ate it but you know whatever let me get my other scissors these are my, those are my junk scissors I don't know why I'm playing with those um so yeah and see it also rips and you know have it curled and use it on your tag on your card layout whatever um that you want but see they each have their own little character and their own style and and once again if you make it too big let's say you want it you know you, you want it to get it smaller and cut off right where the edges are well there you go there you go you have a slimmer tag so yeah and it looks like paper snow all over my desk so now we're going to try and and sorry if this is a long video you guys these tags so these little fold over tabs which I also thought of getting but I was like you know what I'm already spending too much on these things right here and also if you if you do want them um, Tracy does have that one in her shop and that's Art Attack Supplies I'll make sure to leave a link to that and let me see what am I doing okay I think I made one the other day and I really don't know where it went um, I was playing around and yeah no seriously i usually put everything that i'm kind of like playing with to the side of my desk and who knows where it went seriously this place looks like a tornado came through it so anyhow so we're going to start with this is just a one and a half inch um piece of paper you can make it as long as you want i'm just going to fold it like this and be lazy because um the other one i did score and let's say just in case you guys want to know this is three and a half inches per se okay we're probably going to cut this shorter anyway so at this point you can use um you can use let me grab a piece of scratch over here this is a heart punch and then that one's a stampin up one and you don't have to use that one just fyi um, that's just kind of one that I had on hand, hand and I'm going to use a die as well. So this is, this is, um, let me show you first. This is a punch I got from Hobby Lobby, but they have those all over the place now. The reason why I got this is because I have a pegboard and a slap board and all of the little packages, per se, like look at this one. I have the long, um, uh, pegs, which are like nine, ten inches, but since those are more of the shop and industrial ones, those are they have the bigger um, tip nib at the end. So here, let me. This is like this is one of the smaller ones. Like let's say this is the part where that sticks out. Th they have it has a larger ball right there. So these, especially the the um, ones from Hobby Lobby, never go in there. So I bought this one because I do like to shop to basically either make the hole bigger or extend it, and that way it'll fit in any of the pegs um that i have so yeah but um with that aside basically this is what we are looking at so what we're going to do is use a couple of punches and i once again do not have them ready um this is the we are memory keepers um corner chopper so i'm gonna use the cloud one because that's the one i like more okay so you take the part where you scored it and folded it, and then you just add a nice little decorative corners to it. And then you can go in with this one and kind of just, you know, measure going in. Um, this is right where the rounded parts are and, and punch it. And there you go. And there you have that little tab. And ideally I have, one punched heart we'll get another one and then you will glue well you know okay so we're gonna cut this a little shorter let's see we're gonna cut off about half an inch because truly we didn't need it so at this point it would make it two and a half inches okay and it's actually wonky so but it doesn't matter you're not gonna see that and then you're just going to glue 
your heart to it. Now, the reason I didn't do it in the same cardstock is because the ones with the doohickey ones has a little space right here, so you can see the heart more embellished and it has a little doily border. But this way you can make it out of scratch paper. That, this is basically what I use with scratch paper. <laughs> like this piece of like old cardstock that was in the scratch paper box. So yeah. So that is one you can make. I also have... Um, I also have... Uh, let me pull this piece of paper off. This die. And this is just an older um, die. And this one is... Sizzix heart set, and this is the old red ones. We're gonna go ahead and just, let me see, is this heart bigger than that one? It's about the same size. We're gonna go ahead and make two of this one. And I like the steel row dies because you can cut two pieces of paper easily at a time. Okay, so here we go. So I have these, and let's see, we can do this again. How many did I say? Two and a half, right? Okay, we'll do We'll actually cut it properly how we're supposed to. Two and a half, you can score it. Or just go ahead and fold it. And we're going to go ahead. And the reason why I did the little the corner is because it just it just looks cute. And when you're sending out little goodie bags, little racks, it's all about presentation. Let's see. See, and you can see where the corners are. I'm actually putting it a little bit close, uh, farther away from the corners this time. There you go. Got that. And doo -doo -doo -doo. we're just going to use my RTG because I don't want to hold it. Um, of course, you're going to use sticky tape or uh, wet glue, whatever you want to use. You put one down. And then you get the other one and put it on the opposite side so that way it's fully covered. This is what they look like when they're open. I think that one's a little lopsided, but you guys get the gist. I just kind of wanted to um, to get one together. And there you go. And then all you do is just, let's say you put the little baggie or whatever treat, put it right there. You can stamp a little something. I've seen this adorable picture where they have these, which I'm probably going to order anyway. I'm showing you guys how to make them, but I'm probably going to be nuts and order them. Um, and you can see they have a little stamp, the little minis, or little minis, can go right there. So there you go. That actually is gonna be probably one of my projects where I make little cute little packaging. Um, so yeah, because yeah, that is lopsided. I did put it off too much to the side. Since I only used ATG, we can go ahead and fix that. Um, Cause yeah, that really would bug me. Very particular. So anyway, that's a little bit better, not perfect, but you know, you guys get the point. Um, so with that, if you do not use, um, if you don't have the corner punches, you don't need them. I mean, this one, you can just do the regular corner punch. Let's see. You can just do, where are my, where is my little, this is just a little teeny regular one. And I'm just using this one. That's kind of where I sound, punch it out and put your punch right there. Have a little curved edges. Really, you don't even need it but um it just looks cute yeah, it looks cuter when you have them done so yeah that was pretty much i've been wanting to do this just haven't really had a chance or i thought maybe you guys probably think i'm crazy so but yeah look at that i could do it like a waiter um so those are the little samples i made and a little do-it-yourself kind of situation so you guys can help make your um there's so many other things that you could do with the other dies i just kind of wanted to use this one because this one this shape they use in a lot of their products and a lot of like there's a tag that's squared i haven't mastered i haven't even tried it i've actually want to think of trying it where i just basically but it's a lot more work you just put it you know along the whole thing just kind of get it going and then you have you know this one cut out with this die so yeah and that way you know to kind of help you out uh because i know they're not cheap and so yeah so hope you guys hope you guys like it let me know what you think let me know if the, the this kind of tutorial is actually helpful unfortunately i just saw the clock and we are at 25 minutes and i do apologize but i figure um between me trying to figure out how to fast forward all of this or how to do it and since i'm technologically not advanced i could just show you guys in real time how it's done and so you can see literally we just made all of those things in this time and most of it was just probably me babbling and with horrible instructions so yeah so i hope you guys like it let me know what you think and i will talk to you guys soon bye everyone